All right, guys. So the DoglinBattleBuilder.com website finally got Ultimate Go on. Actually, it's been there for about a week, a little bit less than a week, maybe. But I have been waiting to do an actual video for best linking buddies for the Ultimate Power uh, Potential Power Ultimate Go on. So real quick, I already went over a full in-depth analysis of the card, but we're gonna go over real quick the TUR variant real quick, just so that we have all that information. And we're gonna count how many times I say real quick in this video. Uh, leader ability is mixed Saiyan category uh, key plus three, and I did that by accident. So his leader ability is mixed Saiyan category key plus three, HP and defense plus 170% and attack plus 130%. Super attack is burst rush, raises attack and causes immense damage to the enemy. Passive skill, glimpse of the ultimate power. Attack plus 120% at the start of the turn. And defense plus 50% for super type allies and a medium chance to guard against all attacks. Super tanky. Link, uh, link skills are all in the family, same lineage, Z fighters, in fighters, shocking speed, power bestowed by God and Pierce Battle. Max stats are HP of 10, 370, attack of 11, 7, 16. And defense of 50-45. He has a 12 key multiplier of 100%. Overall, a really good unit. Uh, really difficult to actually say what kind of team he's going to run on. Just because on a mono strength team, the current meta is the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Then you have two support units on the end. And then you have Super Gogeta. And another linking unit, usually Super Saiyan 4 Goku friend. That you bring along with him on a mono uh, strength so uh currently with this new meta that's out you're we're kind of losing uh, the super gogeta i mean at this point i don't i don't think i've ever heard anyone say this yet but you know i'm probably not the first one to say it but chances are you don't need the strength super gogeta on your team anymore because ultimate gohan's definitely making up for him yeah he's still going to come in handy um, you maybe if you want to take out a support unit for that that attack and defense buff, but I really don't think so, guys. I think that uh, Super Gogeta is finally about time to get the bench. But anyway, uh, DokkanBattleBuilder.com, as you saw just before, his best linking buddy looks like it's the only Goku that was available. Uh, an SR physical Goku. It looks like this is the one that he was doing the uh, move against Burger and Jice. Uh, you know, I actually have it up over here. It's Transcendent Power Level Goku. Now, this is odd because I haven't ever seen this card before. I haven't played the game since about a month after it came out. Um, apparently, this card is a V-Jump exclusive code, so I'm assuming it was a JP only. If any of you guys have it, down, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I, I, I've i seen the card uh, like once in a blue moon, like just a picture of the card art and everything. Never knew where the hell he came from. I never had an interest in it because he wasn't on the global side, and I didn't, didn't have him on JP. I thought he was just a JP exclusive for like you know an in-game quest or something like that. But anyway... If you guys have him, that's his best linking buddy. Hits off four of his link skills. Now, he's a physical unit, and obviously I'm not going to tell you guys to run this on the team. He gives him, though, a 15% defense buff, a 15% attack buff, and three key. So, I mean, the defense buff we're not going to worry too much about, honestly. Uh, the Goku family, the Sun Goku family, whatever the heck that one is, all in the family. So anyway, that, that link skill is really cool and a lot more beneficial now because it's a percentage boost, especially when you have this ultimate Gohan running on that team. That 15% can make you tank even more. But overall, it's not really that needed. I mean, hell, if you're really got if you guys if you're really worried about it, just bring a freaking uh, defense uh, uh, item. They increase your defense by 30%. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's the card he links really well with. In terms of who he links well with, in terms for heroes, uh, let's see. So. These are the three that I'm going to say are the number one linking buddies you probably want to pair them with. The Ultimate Hope Goku. This is the Spirit Bomb Goku and the Super Vegito. Now, this is obviously going to be on a Heroes team. Um, it's going to be three link skills apiece. Now, both of these, it's actually pretty cool. Actually, all three of these guys, um, all of them you're going to want to attack first. Now, why is that? Well, this Spirit Bomb Goku and the Super Vegito, as you guys probably already know, when they launch Super Attacks, it gives all of your allies an attack plus 20%. So these two, you're going to want to uh, let them attack before Ultimate Gohan attacks because he's just going to do that much more damage. And on top of that, this Gotenks, well, while he doesn't have that on his super, that passive skill on his super attack, he has an additional 23% attack buff when he's the first to attack in turn, which gives him a 100% attack buff with Supreme Damage. Not the most amazing unit, but if you guys are lacking units, Plus, he, though, this Goku and this Gotenks both run really well on a mono strength team, so you can keep them two together alongside him. 
um, if you want to, if you want to optimize your Go Hunt. Um, the Go Tanks himself is going to link with him for three key and 15% attack buff. Now you also have some additional cards that we that I threw down here. Um, these are the two Kaioken Goku is their TUR variants. They, they can link with him. Um, you're probably not going to run them on a team unless you're like a newer player. You don't have, you just didn't have good luck. Uh, it's the Kaioken Goku's is what the Sun Family for 15% defense and three key, and I'm pretty sure this is the same uh, same amount. Yeah, same exact. So that's these two, just three key. I guess it's kind of worth it to make sure he attacks. Uh, this Kaioken Goku, the Agil, actually both of these are really just linking buddies for key for everyone. I mean, it, we've we've talked about that. Well, I haven't talked about it, but it's been a known thing in the community. The Kaioken Goku's are just key links all over the place. That's why the other uh, Kaioken Blue Goku is a key link for everyone as well. And the um, one that dropped the Super Kaioken is also kind of a key link for everyone. Now the other guy that we're going to talk about is this Gohan. He links well with him. Gohan obviously links well with Gohan. This is the Gohan before he got his ultimate form. Now this one really sucks because his passive ability um, is only, let's see, what was it? Was I think it's only attack plus when there is a two or more enemies yet. Attack plus 15,000 and key plus 3 when facing two or more enemies. So it's never going to go off. This guy sucks. If he is someone you have and you want to try and make this go, your ultimate go on hit hard and you don't have any of these other characters, then yeah, you're probably going to want to run him. Plus he's strength, so he's going to do well on a mono strength team. But not someone I recommend uh, if you have additional units that you can run. We also have the Fika Mea Goku. And I'm pretty sure he was the World Tournament. Yeah, he was World Tournament 16 on the JP side and guys on global um, if you guys are getting prepped for that ultimate Gohan he is the 13th world tournament prize ready came around on both versions but that's where he was he's a world tournament prize reward he links 3 key and 15% for Sun Goku family in fighter a 10% attack buff in defense of uh, attacking opponent 10% down and shocking speed of key plus 2 now on top of that we have two additional support units now these are two units that you can run on a mono hero team if you're going to look for running support units, that is. Um, now, both of them link well with him. They have, what, Saiyan Blood, Power Bestowed by God, and Super Fierce Battle. So, attack plus 2,500 when launching a super attack, and attack plus 50% up with that Vegito. And he gives him only one key. And then you have Pan, who is giving him, well, if we can get this little go, proc. Come on, come on, there we go. Sun Family for defense plus 15% up, Saiyan Blood for key plus one, and Super Fierce Battle for 15% up. On top of that, uh, Super Vegito gives attack and defense plus 30% for all allies. So um, he's really beneficial to the team because he's going to make Go uh, Gohan hit a lot harder, 30%. And Pan is just a flat out attack and defense plus 30% for all allies when HP is 30% or above. So overall, these two are definitely do really well. They link well with Gohan. They're going to give him some attack debuffs, which is really useful. So um, honestly, I think, yeah, this is an entire, well, this is almost an entire team of everyone who you would run if your primary focus was this Gohan. Now, uh, you don't need to primarily run him um, uh, as, as, you know, with uh, with all these units, but these are just some good units that you can link well with him. Well, personally, I'd probably run him myself on a Heroes team. Um, not Probably not with Super Vegito, just because Super Vegito, I'm going to want to link with uh, the other Super Vegito, uh, the Su Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Um, I would maybe if I didn't have him, but obviously if you're running a Heroes team, you're gonna have, either going to have him or the Trunks, so um, if you don't have him you're running a Trunks, then probably these two, but you're still going to want to run him with the friend super vegeto uh i would probably say this go this goku right here he his attack is really good when he when it benefits him uh, not amazing but attack plus 20 percent per key orb obtained is that gohan passive just supreme damage instead of um, colossal uh so and he's gonna again buff the go the gohan right here and then these two uh this go tanks is cool too if you don't have him because as long as he's first in turn his attack plus 100 percent um overall not horrible let's see what his 12 key is so, oh yeah, actually, you know what? He is probably the number one. I, just, I didn't realize. Uh, I apologize if you guys are probably watching this video. And you're probably yelling at me right now. His super attack does give all allies attack plus 20% for one turn. So he is going to be the number one unit I say to run with him. Um, so overall, attack plus 100%. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Not bad at all. So he's a guaranteed 100%. Now this Goku can hit harder than him. Uh, I'm not going to recommend going for him just because there is no guarantee that you're going to get. They both have the same 12 key multiplier and do supreme damage. Um, but that Gotenks is definitely going to be your number one choice. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump on over to the strength building team. Now, when I say strength building team, I'm not going to talk about everything that he, you know, the perfect team. I'm going to show you the strength characters that he can currently link with and talk about his options. 
Now, left side is going to be supers, and the right side is going to be the extreme. Now, if you guys aren't aware, and I haven't done a video on this, um, the optimal team a long time ago that I read on the Reddit was an LR Broly lead. LR Broly lead with, like, Janemba and Omega and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, like, it was all over the place. Or LR Broly and TUR Broly, like, it was a, it was a ridiculous, ridiculous output of damage for this team and it was just awesome but we're not going to talk about the most optimal team we're going to talk about a strength team based around this gohan so obviously we talked about this gohan over here we're going to put him out on the bench we don't really want um this goku we're kind of going to throw him out as well just because even though he's really cool um you know he's not the hardest hitting unit in the game so i'm going to throw up this gotenks over here obviously the super saiyan or goku we're going to want over here he does share two link skills with him which is i believe shocking speed and super first battle yep that was it um so that's super useful um they're going to link decently together if you want to throw them together obviously you're going to want him with the super saiyan 3 goku if you happen to have him available if not they are decent linking partners they're not going to uh, be amazing wow the translate to english kind of sucks right now beerus links with him as well super fierce battle and shocking speed I'm not going to say throw him on the team, but you can have him on the team as a linking buddy if you need him. And another person who shares two link skills is this Gotenks. So Gotenks will link with him as well. I believe it's just, uh, what is that, Saiyan Lineage or something like that. And attack plus 15% for a super fierce battle. Um, same thing that goes with Broly. Broly is super fierce battle. And I think it's the Saiyan Lineage. Um, the freaking translation damn thing didn't want to go off for me, and that's really annoying now. <laughs> um, the other Broly as well, so I'm pretty sure it is Saiyan Lineage because it's a key plus one, and you're not going to really want to link him with that Broly. You can, though, if you want, but we're going to throw this Broly down here. Um, I'm going to throw Zamasu down here real quick as well, just because I don't really think the card's that useful. Attack plus 20 for the power bestowed by God, and attack plus 15% up for Super Fierce Battle. Um, and then, like, the rest of the guys you have over here, like, the, the primary villain units, he does link with. So, I'm going to give you an example. If you guys have all the villain units and none of the hero units and you pulled Ultimate Gohan, you can throw Ultimate Gohan on a Super Janemba team for Mono Strength. Because, yeah, he's not going to get the best buff. He's going to have key plus two if you get if you find a friend buddy uh, with that. And you can throw him on there. It's going to be attack, defense, HP, and defense plus 50% up, I believe. Uh, and key plus two total, so 100% attack buff and HP buff and everything. And defense buff. Uh, key plus two, so it's not going to be amazing, but he hits off two link skills with essentially everyone here. So he's either going to be hitting uh, one or two buffs. I think Omega Sh Shenron is shocking speed as well. Yeah, shocking speed. And then we have Cell, who hits two off. I'm pretty sure it's just... Okay, cool. Actually, he does hit two key and 15%. Um, so overall, he's, he'll run really well. It's funny. He actually runs really well on a mono uh, villain's team. But... Uh, you guys could also throw Broly as your leader up there and have Gohan over here. Uh, let's say for, you know, practical purposes, if you have LR Broly and you're missing some vital characters, you could have Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Gohan. Granted, it's only two Link skill. And then if you happen to have the TUR Broly as well, you could throw him with there uh, or whoever else you want over here that has better linking abilities with him. Uh, but overall, guys... Um, I, I'm not trying to give you the most optimal team. I'm just saying you can link with him. And as you see over here, for strength variance, depending on who your leader is, you have choices. Uh, again, obviously, you're going to want to try and go with like someone with this for this Go Tanks, who actually hits off most of his link skills. Uh, but overall, run multiple different strength teams. He does do well on a villains team, so you can you know just take it for what you will. Uh, my personal opinion is I think he sits a lot better on a heroes team just because he's a lot more buddies on that interest but anyway guys i rambled on a lot here i didn't mean for this video to go on so long i really thought this was only going to be a seven minute video it turned into about a 14 15 minute video thank you for joining me here today i hope that was informative please hit that subscribe button if you are new and i'll catch you all later